So I'm going to do something I don't normally do or I haven't done in a long time. That's just have a conversation with you. So I'm taking a break from doing all the landscaping work behind me. And there is something that has just been on my mind since yesterday. And it's bugging the heck out of me. I can't stop thinking about it. So a lot of y'all may or may not know, I used to work for a large local company and uh, started out kind of on the ground floor entry level technician position with them and worked my way up into management many years ago. And then ultimately walked away from that to pursue social media. And now I am seeing I made a very, very good decision. I used to not talk about that company just because they're very particular, you know, trademarks and just they don't like any of their stuff used and all, but obviously I can talk and who cares, right? Can't go back to them now after what I'm about to tell you, but that company was Georgia Pacific. They come in and bought out a paper mill that was just the backbone of this community around here. It's where everybody strived to work. If you weren't going after a degree or chasing some particular job, this was the best paying thing around. We're a small local community, all the counties around here, there's just not much going on. There's no big cities, there's lacking employment. And the paper mill was always known as a place that you could go to to get the best benefits and the best job. That paper mill not only supported me for quite a few years, but it's supported me pretty much my entire life. My dad worked and retired there, put in 37 and a half years. My uncle did about the same, maybe a little longer now that I think about it. And there's a lot of people that can relate to my story right here that's in this local community that uh, they're now hurting. And that was a place that used to give a lot of people some hope. So out of the blue yesterday while working on the landscaping here with Tiffany, I get a text from a friend that works at that mill that the mill is closing. And let me tell you something, the mill got bought out about 10 years ago now. That was a third buyout. Uh, it's been around since the 50s. Again, just means so much to this community. And I knew it hadn't been running right since, well, since it was bought out about 10 years ago for lots of various reasons. Uh, some of those reasons is the reason I really wanted to walk away from that place, but we're not gonna get into all the details there. But to hear that absolutely crushed me. It, it wrecked me, because I can think of all the friends and used to be family that I have that work out there. And I know exactly how much that means to everybody. And the ripple effect from something like this, when you have a small local community that truly depends on a place that big, it's the biggest employer. You're talking tens of millions of dollars that filters out into the local economy as a result. Heck, could be a hundred million dollars a year. Who, who knows when you really think about it. That's no longer gonna be going into this local economy. We recently just had a large lumber mill here close down as well, eliminating a hundred and something jobs. This mill is gonna eliminate almost 500 and something jobs just at the mill. And that's not the impact going out into the community. Ultimately, this is gonna affect thousands of jobs. You gotta think about all that money going out. It's gonna affect the loggers that we're bringing the trees in. That's just a huge industry around here. It's gonna affect all the people that's at home that's planted trees like me that may potentially be some potential retirement income. There's lots of tree farmers around here that now have to figure out where's, where's their lumber going. The lumber mill and the pulp mill just just eliminate it, they're gone out of this area. Your restaurants, your banks, it's just gonna impact everything wildly. So it's got me doing a lot of soul searching and thinking. You know, I've been preaching for quite a while, especially on our podcast channel, that is this a sign for what's to come when you just watch two huge employers get out of an area, close down mills that were worth well over a billion dollars when you really add it all up. Is this truly just because of what's going on locally, because the mill wasn't that running right, or, or is this a sign of things to come? My gut still says we've got a lot more inflation coming. You hear rumblings and talk of a recession coming. Now, this is all total speculation. Is some of this stuff closing because of that, or is it literally just because it was mill specific? I don't know. But it's got me really doing a lot of soul searching, thinking, and kicking around. And I don't know if y'all have been to the grocery store recently, oh my goodness, or the hardware store, or anywhere else. I cannot get over how expensive things are, and it seems like every time I go, they're going up more and more and more. Interest rates are absolutely through the roof. Food's up a few hundred percent from where it was just a few years ago. Yet I keep hearing people talk about potential inflation coming. 
you better wake up people. That inflation is already here. We're already seeing it in everyday cost of goods. And I know your income hasn't went up two or 300%, just like mine hasn't right here. Hearing this has also got me thinking about the preparedness side of things. You know, our channel's huge on that, where we prepare for outages and things to come. Uh, we prepare with our food and all kinds of other stuff. You know, thank the good Lord. My heart breaks and hurts for these people at the mill. And I know a lot of them are going to watch this. Um, their friends, I used, their, their ex-coworkers, I used to spend time with them. I know what pain and anguish they're going through, so I don't want this to offend anybody by talking about this. My heart breaks for these people, and it's an absolute blessing that I chose to walk away from the mill whenever I did a few years ago and pursue this social media. Otherwise, I would be just like these guys today, waking up, scratching my head, wondering what the heck am I going to do? There's just not other jobs to run to around here. It's just not the way it works in small town America. It's no different than a coal mine closing up north in a small community or some other big industry. You know, it just it really wrecks and hurts a lot of lives. So back to the preparedness side of things. This is what I've been talking about so much on the channel and why we share the things that we do. Not only do we prepare for hurricanes and power outages and all that other stuff, but we try to get serious with food preservation. We always talk about on our podcast channel, being prepared with your finances. We used to be in a pretty bad situation with finances, like a lot of people carried a lot of debt. And about 15 years ago, we started working really hard to dig ourselves out of that hole in case something like this happens. And this is why I'm so passionate about talking about finances, again, especially on our podcast channel. The freedom that you get from not toting a tremendous amount of debt and something wrecks your world like this, something so unexpected happens, it's a comforting feeling to say this absolutely sucks, but I, I got time to figure it out or we're gonna figure it out. And a lot of people are feeling that right now. And that's just, it's just a soul crushing experience to go through, to have to go through that, not only with yourself, but with your family and just wonder day to day, what the heck's gonna happen, what's, what's coming. So I think this is gonna motivate me and Tiffany. We did discuss this last night to start getting a little more serious. We've been very good with our finances, very, very good. Um, I still do think whether it's just a slowback in the economy or a recession or that depression word people are talking about, I don't have a clue what's coming, but I still do think something absolutely is coming. We're not trying to be doom and gloom, we're just trying to be prepared. And then when, when you see things like this happen, these people, just hundreds of people's jobs just got lost yesterday and this just impacted literally thousands of people's jobs around here yesterday, out of the blue. I've got to start preparing myself a little more because what happens if this YouTube thing goes downhill? YouTube's a huge company. I don't think it's closing down tomorrow, but what about in a few years? Is there a new player in the game? I still don't think so. But what happens if something like my account gets hacked tomorrow? What if I make a foolish mistake and accidentally give somebody account access and next thing you know, my account is no longer in existence. I've just lost my job in a blink of an eye like that. What happens if I get hurt and can't make the content? There's all these different things that I have to process and think about. So we're going to continue to work hard. We've already started doing this toward side incomes and gigs. Um, not only that we can record and make content, but that we'll bring in side income. I've been considering yet a potential another channel and another business that won't directly be tied to social media, but I can tie it to it. I think I'm gonna get active and go after that, but people, I've always told y'all backups for your backups. Always be prepared. Backups for your backups for power outages, backups for your backups for your life plans and goals. Oh my goodness, I just, my stomach turned when I heard, just thinking about all of our friends and people that I know out there that are really just trying to figure out what the heck to do today. And I want, to, I want to fight really hard to not have myself in that position because I can't control what may happen to my career or just life in general. So I think backups for my backups, that's probably going to be one of the new sayings on the channel. We're definitely going to get us multiple revenue streams because this world's only getting crazier, y'all. Again, not doom and glooming it, but just take a look around. It's not like how it was when I was a kid, that's for sure. I think a lot of y'all can say that. Uh, it's so unpredictable. Things are changing so rapidly. People's worlds are getting turned upside down so quickly that I really, really need to think all this through and uh, just make sure at the very end of the day, Tiffany and I are taken care of. I've always said nobody is going to think for you more than you. Nobody. Maybe your mama. But you know what I'm saying. kind of wanted to vent, and uh, I know some of y'all that just lost your jobs are watching. Uh, 
you know, our, our thoughts and prayers go out to you. I, uh, I really do hurt for y'all. I, I was just there. That could have been me. If I hadn't left a few years ago, that could easily have been me. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are going to come out better because of this. Some, some people got their heads on their shoulders really good, and this is going to shove you to a new opportunity that you didn't even know existed. But right now, in the midst of chaos, you're trying to figure it all out. And the other thing that breaks my heart, y'all, we just, we, Perry, this is, this is where this mill's at in Perry, Florida, just took a direct hit from a major hurricane. A lot of these guys and girls are trying to rebuild their homes, rebuild their lives right now. They're out a lot of money right now. And then you come walking into your job to find out, I don't have that paycheck no more. I don't have, that's not coming. That's not helping fix the house right now and the yard and everything else that just got tore all the heck and back. That is so crushing to think about. This is some horrible, horrible timing for something like this. Horrible timing. Frustrating. Y'all, I'm telling you, this community's been through it here lately. Lose the sawmill, lose the pulp mill, direct hit from a hurricane. It's going to be hard for this community to bounce back from a lot of this right here. But uh, these people are tough. You'll find your way through. I know a lot of y'all. I know you will. And I pray that y'all have a better opportunity that comes out of this that you never even knew existed. But there's a lot of people hurting y'all. I just felt like I needed to vent a little. It's been on my mind so much thinking about it. I've had so many phone calls. So many of y'all that don't even live around here already know. Y'all have reached out. So I thought it would take me a little cool off break from working. Talk to y'all about that. But y'all, preparedness. Preparedness is the name of the game. And uh, we're definitely going to have our minds on that moving forward with the economy, with our career, our revenue streams and income. Because tomorrow, tomorrow's not guaranteed. And things are just so, so unpredictable. My goodness. All right. Well, back to work. We got to get y'all more uplifting video, don't we? We'll catch y'all on the next one.